Quickly running through temperatures again, here's as we get into this weekend. Pretty warm down in the southeast for Friday. Saturday, pretty warm as well. Things start to change Sunday. You can see that cold air beginning to push in from the northwest. Although if you're down there really far in the southeast, you're going to have to wait until Monday. There's that collapse of cold air really far down into the southeast. And then that air begins to move out farther east towards the eastern seaboard as we get into Tuesday morning. And here's where we get some record temperatures. You know where you live. Look at this map. It could get cold. Up in the northeast, really along the coast, that real push of cold air doesn't arrive until really late Sunday into early Monday morning here it comes. Our coldest temperatures will likely be around Tuesday as well. Look at this. We're getting temperatures out there. These are our feels like in the mid to low 20s along the coast. And then if you go inland, we actually are getting down into the teens and single digits in some areas. Across the central US, here's Friday. Here's as we get into Saturday. And then as we get into Sunday, there's that cold air collapse. And Monday is where Texas out through Georgia is going to start to see that cold air collapsing. And like I said, we could see feels like temperatures stretching from Dallas, Fort Worth out to Atlanta below freezing. And to not leave the West out of this, here we go. Low elevation. It's going to be hot. We have some ridging out here. We know this time of year, it's always cold up in the mountains. But as you can see down there in these low elevation areas, we're still 60s, 70s, 80s in some cases.